In this short video, I am going to show you how to create a banner for your Canvas course and how to create a header image for a Canvas page. Uh, both of these you can do. There are tools out there. They are just amazing these days. I'm going to show you three ways to create them. One is on a website called Canva. Uh, another way is using PowerPoint. And a third way to create just simply a header image is just to take a screenshot of the image. So let's begin here with Canva. So canva.com uh, is a free site that allows you to uh, design anything. And it's true. Uh, you can sign in using your Google account or however you wish to sign in with an email address and password. And once you do, you'll be presented with this homepage. In the upper right corner is create a design, and I'm going to create one with custom dimensions. 1200 pixels by 250 pixels is just about the right size for an image that spans the entire width of your page, but doesn't take up so much vertical room that students can't see the text or other information below it. So again, about 1200 by 250 pixels is a good rule of thumb. Also, if you're going to add a lot of these to many pages in Canvas, try to make them all the same size. So remember what size you're making them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it those dimensions and create a new design. Canva is a t just has thousands of templates that you can choose from. For today's purposes, rather than adding an image uh, that I have uploaded myself, I'm just simply going to add one of the templates and change it, uh, change the text on it. So you can see over here on the left side, there's just all kinds of template images. I'm going to simply pick one for a Music 101 class. I'm going to go ahead and use this one with these old cassette tapes. Just by clicking on it, you'll see that it adds it to that already sized image. You can move these things around, change the colors. There's all kinds of options in here. But all I'm going to do today is cop or select this text and change it to Music 101, because that's the class that I am going to use this in. Once I've added that, I can download it. It's going to give me the size and the file type. A PNG file is just fine, uh, like a .jpg. It is just an image type. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. You might get some advertisements uh, as that happens, but it's downloaded. So when I go back to adding that to my page in Canvas, I can put my cursor here at the upper left corner and I can use the insert menu as we have seen before in this course and I'm going to upload an image. I am going to go find that image which is in my downloads and I will open that and I'm going to give it some alt text because it does have uh, some information on it, some text on it. And then click submit and here is my course banner that might sit atop my home page or um, it could be on the syllabus page if you're using that as the, the course home page. But that's a very quick, easy way to create a nice looking banner uh, in Canvas. So the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is to create a screenshot, grab a screenshot and add that to Canvas and create a screen or grab a screenshot and using PowerPoint, add some text to the image. So in this case, I'm going to use Pixabay, but you could use Flickr Creative Commons images. I'm going to use one from Pixabay today. So scrolling down here, I'm just going to go with this nice fall themed image. I'm going to select that image and you'll see that uh, it came from this gentleman. I can link this to the image if I want, but because it's already free for commu commercial use and there is no attribution required, and I'm actually going to take a screenshot of just a part of this image. So to do that on the Mac, it's Command-Shift-4. You can use the snipping tool on a PC if you wish. 
but I'm just going to click and drag through a long, wide piece of this picture. And you can see that it took this image as the um, screenshot. So now that I have that screenshot, I'm going to add that to a PowerPoint slide. So in PowerPoint, I am going to insert an image. So from the insert mem menu, you can select picture from file. And that file is here in my downloads. There it is. So this is just any image added to any PowerPoint slide. When you select the image, you can get some of these options uh, to format the picture. What I'm going to do is change the opacity in the image uh, so that it's a little bit lighter, right? So you can't, so I can add some text to it. So I'm going to change the transparency and then I'm going to insert a text box. So back on the home menu, you have a text box and you can add text. And this will, we'll call this one Music 101 too, with just a slightly different look. Here, of course, in PowerPoint, you can change the font size, you can align it to the right or the left, and you can change the font if you wish. So, um, and again, you could add more text elements, you could put your name on here, you could put a, a, a border around the image. But what you wanna do to, to get this as an image so that you can put it into PowerPoint is you wanna select both the image and the text and you want to group them. So you can right click and go to group. And then it's all one image. Now I can right click and go to save as picture. And here I'm gonna call it a banner image on my desktop. So now that I've created that image, I'm gonna go back to my class in um, Canvas and I'm gonna get rid of this image and I'm going to add that one I just created. So again, import or insert image, upload image. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to find that banner picture and add it to the page with some alt text. And there you go. So now we have that, that image as the course banner. Now, if I wanted just a header image, I could have used just the leaves that I had picked earlier without putting it into PowerPoint or without adding the text. Either way, you can do this. Uh, there are great tutorials linked below to Canva uh, in PowerPoint. Uh, again, you can rewatch that video and you can make this happen yourself.